welcome back to my channel. I am Canna Campbell. A quick reminder before we begin today's video, and that is a capsule wardrobe video if you haven't noticed, and that is to please make sure your notification bell is switched on for my channel so you know the moment I have published a fresh video for you. Please also make sure you are following me on my fun everyday Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official because this is where I share with you fresh different content around capsule wardrobe fashion, beauty, minimalism, and motherhood. And you also get to see inside my crazy mad home as we which is completely full of mad chaos you could say All right, so today's video as I said is a capsule wardrobe video over four years ago I published this video it was a video as to how I built my capsule wardrobe incorporating a minimalistic philosophy and it had over 340,000 views now so much has changed since then so I thought it would be really fitting to make you a fresh video not only sharing with you how I built my capsule wardrobe but also how I have maintained it because my life has changed so much since then I've had two more babies we've moved to the beach we've had COVID so I'm working from home so much more I'm doing uh, less uh, keynote speaking in front of people but more keynote speaking behind a screen so my wardrobe and my lifestyle has massively changed but one thing that hasn't ever changed and if I think is only ever grown and that is my love value use and appreciation for my capsule wardrobe incorporating a minimalistic philosophy because it's always really worked in unison and in a complementary way to my financial goals. So let's get started. Now today's video is proudly sponsored by and a collaboration with Lily Silk. I always love working with Lily Silk because I really love their pieces, in particular their knitwear. So thank you Lily Silk for proudly sponsoring and collaborating with me today. All right, so the first step to building a capsule wardrobe in particular, if you want to incorporate minimalism into your life, and that is to have a long, hard, honest look at your lifestyle and your lifestyle needs. What do your days and your weekends really look like? What are the types of clothing you need to wear for those events? As I said, my life has really changed since four years ago. Um, I was going to the gym lots. I'm not nearly going to the gym as much now with three children, which I had more time to myself. Uh, I am going to less events because of COVID and obviously social distancing. I'm doing more meetings behind a screen through Zoom and keynote speaking through Zoom. So less, you know, events and less meetings in the office where I'll be dressed up in a high-end corporate look. And I'm, of course, you know, spending more time at home with my children. So very much needing just jeans and a T-shirt like I'm wearing now. So what I recommend you do is grab a piece of paper and a pen and write down what the things you do typically during the week. That is then the formula for you to then take when you go shopping and when you go through your wardrobe, which we'll be doing in a few steps further. But this will make sure that when you do invest in your wardrobe or you're looking at getting rid of a few things, what stays in your wardrobe will actually be worn. You'll be getting your dollars per wear and it'll actually work for you and your needs right now. So really be honest with yourself as to what your lifestyle looks like, not your fantasy lifestyle. The next step is to go through your wardrobe. Now, previously, back four years ago, pre three children, I would pull absolutely everything in my wardrobe, you know, empty out all the drawers and all the wardrobes and just put everything on the bed. However, I don't have as much time and my anxiety levels would go through the roof with the massive mess. So what I simply do is break it down a little bit like the thousand dollar project. So I will just simply focus on one drawer or one part of the wardrobe or one cupboard at a time. I will go through, for example, in this cupboard here, each piece individually. And this is where I will invest most of my time because this is where the most awareness and lessons and insights are to be had. So stopping and asking myself, okay, what did I buy? Where did I buy it from? This is really important because I have found that there is a common trend of items that are tired, worn out, looking tatty or don't reflect my style have come from a common denominator shop. So I now know by going through my wardrobe not to shop 
in that store anymore, that my money is being wasted. When I go through these items, I'll come across items that I live in and I love, and I will make a mental note that that is a great shop for me, that the cuts are really nice, the fabric is high quality, it's well made, um, it suits my lifestyle, it suits my sense of style and taste, and the fabric's really good. So this is a really good time to get to know you and get to know your style and get to know what is actually of quality and substance and worth investing your hard-earned precious money into when it comes to your wardrobe. And again, Again, coming back to step number one, as you're going through these items, looking at each one, ask yourself, is this, for example, a dress that will fit my needs? Where on my list will this dress be appropriate for? And this is one of the great things about doing this is you start to really appreciate versatile pieces. So I will come across a dress and initially I'll think, oh, I can only wear that to a special event or a wedding. But then I realize, no, actually I can wear that in multiple different ways because it's actually quite a versatile piece. And therefore that item will stay in my wardrobe. Now this is also somewhere you need to be particularly ruthless. You need to let go of items that you don't wear anymore. So what I would recommend you do is simply put them in a bag, in a cupboard and put them somewhere else for a couple of months. And if you don't miss them, you know to get rid of them completely. And when I say get rid of them completely, get rid of them in a responsible way. So look at selling them to the secondhand economy. Look at giving them to a friend. Look at donating them to charity or also you could always look at swapping your items with someone else that you know that loves that particular item and you might be able to swap things in your wardrobe so you're getting the most amount. Remember, having a wardrobe is not about spending a whole pile of money and then throwing it all away. It's about making sure that your wardrobe is an investment in your self-reflection. Now, I'd love to use this opportunity to quickly mention to you about Lily Silk. As you know from watching my other capsule wardrobe videos, which I will link in the video description box below, Lily Silk knitwear are fantastic. I own so many pieces. They're really classic and they're really versatile and they're really well made. I use them to dress up and dress down so many different pieces in my wardrobe and it means that I don't need to own a huge wide wardrobe to create a variety of different links. And I'll show you a couple of pieces that I recently purchased that are really working within my existing wardrobe, which are incredibly versatile for my current lifestyle needs. So the third step is to work out your anchor pieces. These are the pieces in your wardrobe that you absolutely love. They are your non-negotiables. You would never even think twice about ever getting rid of them because they reflect your own personal style and taste. They're really comfortable and they fit you perfectly. Now for me, my anchor pieces have got to be my uh, framed denim boyfriend jeans and my black leather pants. But once you've identified your anchor pieces, you can then then go and shop around those or keep what's in your wardrobe that matches these. So for example, say I take my black leather pants, which are a key staple in my wardrobe and definitely an anchor piece. I can take a whole wide range of different tops and team them with these black leather pants to create a whole range of different looks and styles. So for example, I can take a very simple black lace camisole, pop it on, tuck it in with my black leather pants and I've got a really classic chic evening look. I can also take those same black leather pants and wear a beautiful white sleeveless shirt with a pearl detail. I can then add additional accessories if I want to make it look even more high end. And of course I can just grab a simple basic shirt and throw it on hanging out over the top of my black leather pants if I want a more running around chasing the kids look with some ballet flats or even some sneakers. So once you've identified your key anchor pieces, you should then shop or style your wardrobe with the things that are in your wardrobe, not necessarily heading straight to the shops, but that is the key foundation of your wardrobe and it will mean that you find yourself needing a lot less. My fifth and final tip for building and maintaining a capsule wardrobe and that is to review on a regular basis. Old habits die hard. We are constantly surrounded with temptation. So what I recommend you do, and this is something that I need to do again because it's been a while since I've done it, and that is make a list in your phone or somewhere where you can easily access it of all the items that you already own. Make sure you make a list of all the dresses that you own, the color and the style, and if a particular type of functional theme that that particular dress holds, such as a corporate dress or a party dress or a daytime barbecue dress. So that any 
anytime you're going to the stores or you're browsing online, you can quickly refer to that list and it will remind you as to how much you actually already own and potentially you don't necessarily need what you're thinking of buying because you've already got it. This will also stop you from buying duplicates and it can also catch you for when you're potentially going rogue. When it comes to my cap for wardrobe, I always, as you would probably know, maintain a really strict color palette. It's always been blacks, blues, and you know, all the basics, the neutrals with a pop of light blue and a pop of light pink, as you can see behind me. But recently I went a little bit wild and when I caught myself doing this, I was able to stop and actually catch myself and really question what I was doing. And I realized that my lifestyles had actually evolved and changed. My taste was slightly widening. And because of that, I allowed within a controlled and agreed limit to allow some extra color that I was really finding myself drawn to as my, my needs and my tastes and my styles had slightly evolved and changed. So I allowed in a little extra pop of hot pink and a little bit of khaki into my life to give my wardrobe a little bit of an additional dynamic or a bit of an additional dimension to mix up my wardrobe. But, but by having a regular review of your wardrobe, you can catch yourself red-handed if you're about to do anything destructive or go off track or go down a garden path or be led off into temptation when it comes to building and sticking to your capsule wardrobe. All right, everyone, I'm going to end this video sharing with you three very different looks that I have created with three key pieces from the current Lily Silk collection. And you will see how I have been playing in my wardrobe, creating three different looks that range from casual, corporate to cheeky date night using these three key pieces. And you can really see the importance of investing in high quality, not necessarily expensive, but good quality, versatile pieces to help build and maintain your capsule wardrobe. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy this. And of course, don't forget to make sure you're following me on my fun Instagram account. All right, watch this now.